here. It's the 29th, uh, the first day of this uh, lockdown that they're foisting upon us. But uh, we went out this morning. We Yesterday we were out and the egg place was closed. And the egg dude that delivers to us, we couldn't find him. So this morning we just said heck with it and we uh, we went through the gate. Oops. And uh, doesn't seem like any other day. There's a few things closed. The hardware store is closed. That's very unusual on a Monday. I don't see any workmen in here doing any stuff around on the houses except the one house a few streets over. They're, they're working. Uh, but it's... Uh, we didn't have any problem. We went to the water station, got some water, bought our eggs. A bunch of little shops are open. Uh, there's people out. Uh, I don't see in this sh small area that there much as much has changed other than a few things are closed that's that's about it all i can see but we are having a beautiful day uh, we got a really nice breeze blowing right now uh, it is not too hot today um, but i don't know uh, maybe maybe tomorrow we'll see if we can do any kind of uh, walk about outside I definitely want to go and see about the churches on Easter Sunday because I got a sneaky suspicion the, the Filipinos people are just going to do, uh, they're just going to go. I mean, this is something you, you can't, you can't take this away from them. And uh, if you don't think this is just some kind of a satanic ploy, uh, you know, with all these numbers being uh, put on people all of a sudden, you know, they, they, one day you see 8,000, then you see 9,000. Is that per day, or is this something that they're just accumulating? You know, they're, they're not giving you anything on these numbers. Uh, you know, they're just, they're just putting these numbers out. You know, big, big number, blah, 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 9,000, blah, 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 blah. Ah, baloney. That's a... <laughs> Guys, wake up. This is just ridiculous. Lots of places are getting rid of restrictions. I just heard somebody say, I think it was georgia or something that they're oh they're going to reduce the restrictions on this certain date how ridiculous is that if they're going to if some governor is going to get in there and say you know this is all baloney we're going to stop the restrictions you stop them right now you, you don't give it a date they're just, just a conditioning somebody sent me a comment saying you know this is a social experiment guys the social experiments have been done a long time ago we're in it now we're in it. a year think about this a year-long flu season who'd ever bought that a long time ago and who when were people ever supposed to be so afraid of this invisible enemy the flu is there a flu of course there is there's always been a flu hey guess what they've had flu shots for as long as i can remember probably my whole lifetime people still die of the flu the united states between 45 and 65 thousand people die a year <clears throat> but this new flu oh guys you should be extremely happy because it's the most wonderful flu in the world everything else is cured even people aren't dying on their motorcycles anymore in car accidents because they got COVID. that's what got them the guy gets smashed uh, on the thing and a truck runs over his head and pops it and guess what he didn't die of a motorcycle accident he died of COVID. COVID, I call it. Uh, nothing. Nobody's dying of strokes and heart attacks or anything. You guys, you guys better wake up. And, and you uh, uh, trolls that come on there and say, I'm dreaming and stuff. I'll be honest, guys. I, <laughs> I'm wide awake. Go back and look at my videos from way at the beginning, a month, a year ago. And I was saying this is a bunch of baloney. Sticking a big long Q-tip all the way to the back of your head is not testing for something. They're implanting something, guys, or they're damaging something back there. Wake up. Use your head. If you can walk into a store and sneeze and infect the whole store, and they got to take everybody's name and quarantine everybody, but yet they got to go all the way into the, to the bottom of your brain to test for something? Give me a break. Give, <laughs> give me a stinking break, guys. Unbelievable, the stuff that you, the people are buying. I'm just so sick of buying it anymore, and, and I can't believe so many sheeples are just taking it i had somebody comment on there oh you know the guy in the the guy in the market the reason why he won't mask is because he's he can't breathe and it's because he's already got covid now they're going to be starting to point fingers remember that movie called i think it was it or them with donald sutherland where they had the pods we're in it guys 
they're going to get the sheeple to point at you and say you're bad. They're going to they're not going to just use the government. They're going to use your own friends and family against you. And this was this is biblical. This is what they said in the Bible. This is what the good Lord told us. This is biblical because they're going to have brothers fighting against brothers and this is what they're going to do. And and people are picking sides now. You know, it, it, it's just ridiculous what's going on, uh, that people are buying this. And if you don't think this is uh, something run by Satan, you, you, you can be an atheist all you want. You know something? You ain't going to be an atheist after uh, you go sit before the judgment, guys. Because <laughs> it ain't going to happen. And uh, I tell you what, you know, everybody has free will. The good Lord gave us all free will. But you better wake up and smell the coffee, guys, because it's a brewing. The coffee is brewing right now. So wake up, sleepyheads. You know, we're not getting we're not getting past this, it seems. A year. A year of this baloney. And now they're they're putting the screws to you again. Here we go again. I mean, a lockdown? All this stuff? It doesn't seem so bad because my wife, every time she goes out. She's asking everybody. She still wears her mask because she lives in fear. I don't. I'm not wearing it. But I'll tell you what. Everybody she's asking, nobody's buying it. Nobody is buying this malarkey. It's being voiced on us here. They're just saying no, no, this, no. We don't, we don't believe this. It's not. It's all fake. Yeah. And and it's, it's so far it's been unanimous for the last almost a week. Now we even seen a, a lady in the store, and my wife was talking to her, and she, you know, she had the mask on and the big face shield and all this stuff. And everybody in the store, as soon as they got in there, even the workmen's had the mask on their head or the the shield up on the back of their head, and and their mask pulled down. Even the register people and my wife said, "Oh, you believe in this uh, COVID?" And no, but I don't. I am afraid of getting a ticket. So they've instilled fear into the masses. It's just like the, you know, the police when they pull you over and give you a ticket. They're installing fear in you, and they're installing fear in you with this. And they're going to keep you on, in fear so that they can control you. If you don't think that uh, uh, totali totalitarian regimes exist, it's because they didn't teach you your history. And here, they're not teaching history in the schools. I, I talk to these kids, they don't know nothing when it comes to history. Even my own country, they're not going to teach it, guys. It's your duty as a parent or as a grandparent to teach them and show them. I show my kids pictures of the Holocaust and all the bodies laying in there and there and my daughter what are they why are they doing that? I says because they're evil people, honey, and evil exists in this world. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shield her from from seeing evil. What they want you to do. Oh, they want to protect the little snowflakes. The little stinky snowflakes. Well, you know something? Somebody needs to give these damn snowflakes a slap in the face. Wake up, you dummies. This is the real world. You can't hide from the weird, real world, guys. We're living in it. And there is evil all about. And if you, if you want to hide from it or you don't want to believe it, you know something? You are a sheeple. That's it. You're on the way to the slaughter. And most sheeple, they're going to point the finger at you, just like that movie with Donald Sutherland, so that they can drag you along with them. They don't want to be slaughtered alone. This is Rickshaw out.